Hello guys and welcome to my latest video. In today's video I'm gonna teach you how to um, set up and use in a local area network as always in a local uh, you know in a local LAN uh, how to use a MSN emulator if you remember well back in the 2000 in the early 2000s mid 2000s um, we like me um, people like our you know, um, more or less 27 or 30 years old, like me, uh, we used to use uh, a messenger, which was the MSN. Now kids uh, use, uh, you know, Facebook or WhatsApp to communicate in, in, you know, in the social media. But back in the day, we used to, we used to use, you know, Merck and also MSN Messenger. So this is a cool tutorial that I'm going to teach you how to use this emulator. It's not it's not the actual thing, it's not the real thing because you're actually using an emulator to emulate the main server. So you're connecting each computer to your main server emulator. Um, keep in mind this emulator is pretty old and it's pretty buggy. So it has a lot of uh, glitches and maybe you're chatting in the middle of a conversation. You might you you should expect the server maybe just to crash. So uh, yeah, it has a lot of bugs, but it's still it's pretty cool to revive those uh, golden moments, you know. So uh, first you're gonna download the the you know the the compressed archive that I'm gonna leave you guys in the description obviously you'll have to extract the folder and you'll have something like this uh, first you will have to uh, take MS Wins cock, uh, cock whatever dot OCX uh, archive you're just gonna copy this crap um, and you're gonna paste it inside your you know local C Windows System 32, and also you're gonna pass it inside the SysWo 64 in case you have a 64-bit operating system, which is very likely these days. So once you just copy those two files in there, just open a CMD with administrator rights, obviously, and you wanna you wanna type this crap. You're gonna go first to Windows System 32 folder, and you want just type Rex SF SVR 32 space MSWin sck.ocx so once you you just press that press enter that file is going to install into your computer and obviously you want to do this step with every single computer that you want to connect to the same network because it's very unlikely that your computer has this archive installed unless you just use you know visual basic um, you probably have it already installed but yeah so once you install this archive now it's very straightforward actually uh, we um, we go back to the extracted folder once again we go to MSN server executable and you just have to execute that, that crap um, first time you execute it it's gonna, your computer is gonna tell you to open your your you know your firewall your ports or whatever you want just you, you just wanna allow that so once you're here in order to create this this is gonna be our master computer uh, and this is gonna be uh, just another client so in this master computer obviously we're gonna host the server itself which is this uh, little uh, little uh, window and this computer the master computer is gonna be used to create all the other accounts so if you wanna connect from this computer to this one you need to create an account first from this computer so uh, we're gonna go to admin and here you will be able to create your your different accounts so uh, in order to create one just creating just click and add just type your email you know whatever uh, you know you can name it I don't know uh, windows hippie at hotmail.com just uh, remember to always use hotmail.com and once you type that you sh just want to type OK and uh, yes you can see this shit has, has a lot of bugs we're gonna open it again and once you create your your account you're gonna see here the the you know the information the password you can change the password whatever you like and here you will have to change your nickname if you want you know the screen name so once you do that um, it doesn't have a save button so once you change it it's gonna save automatically and just close the little window so once you're here just leave the server open 
So once one last thing that you need to do now is go to um, once again to local C Windows. We're gonna go to System 32. We're gonna go to Drivers. Sorry about that. We're gonna go to Drivers folder, and then we're gonna go to etc folder. Here, I highly suggest you to to you know disable your antivirus because usually antivirus has, are still protecting you from modifying the host file so once you disable the antivirus you want to just copy your host file we're gonna pass it inside the desktop and we're gonna open you know notepad and then just drag the host here in notepad just open it and we're gonna just uh, add a single line of code here a single line it's gonna be your lo the local generic IP one two seven zero zero one and then space messenger dot hotmail dot com and this crap is gonna prevent your computer to you know uh, to mistakenly connect to the messenger server so this is kind of a bouncer so each time the, the messenger tries to connect to the main com to the main server it's gonna be denied and it's gonna connect to the emulator instead so once you do that, just save it, and then you're gonna have to uh, override the old host. Just override it, and you'll be ready to go. Just keep in mind, if you modify it, just make sure that your file is not a TXT. Just delete the extension in case you you just uh, mistakenly created one. Delete the extension, leave the file like in blank, and then drag it inside your your etc folder. So once you do that, we are ready to go. You you should be able to connect to your to your to the MSN. So now we're gonna just install the client itself here in this folder. I'm gonna give you. Yeah, you can have a couple of versions. I'm personally using the 4.7 version, which is the latest version you will be able to get in this emulator. So once you install it, just open the messenger. And now you should log in with whatever account you just created. So I'm gonna just log in with this stupid account and see if we are able to connect. There you'll see that uh, you have entered successfully to your account. And now I'm gonna teach you how to how another computer from the same network can connect to your MSN. So we're gonna leave this minimize. And we're gonna go now to the other computer. So let's imagine this is another computer connected to the same network. Uh, you also want to have your, you know, the the same folder that you just downloaded from my video, and you want to also, uh, you know, install the same version of, of MSN client, which is gonna be 4.7. In this computer, obviously, you don't have to open the MSN server because this is the, gonna be the master computer. In this computer, you should have to install the client, which is already installed. You will have to install the, you know, the o OCX file uh, that we talked before. And we're going to also modify the host file. So we're going to go to C, we're going to go to um, Windows, we're going to go to System32, we're going to go to Drivers, we're going to go to etc. And we're going to go to the host file. We're going to just make a little modification here. It's not going to be the same, it's going to be slightly changed. So once you open this crap, you just want to type here the local IP, the local IP of the master computer. So this local IP is the local IP from the computer that is actually hosting the server. It's not the local IP of this computer, it's the local IP of this computer. So in each one of the clients that are going to connect to the master computer, they should have their host file with the local IP of the computer that is actually hosting the server. It's not that complicated. So you just type the local IP space and then you just type messengerhotmail.com. So you just save it, override it, just drag it inside here and it's going to be the same procedure as before. So now you should be able to connect to the to the server. So now we're going to go and open the messenger. We're going to use another account. We're going to use uh, this account that I have already created before. And let's see if we are able to connect. Oh, sorry. Fucking shit. There you go. Let's see. And as you can see, we are connected between each other. And it's a success. So let's try. Let's gonna uh, let's gonna talk to this newbie bitch. Here you can see its name newbie, and this is one. This one is named Pija. 
which is cock in Spanish. So we're gonna open this crap. We're gonna talk to this bitch. I'm gonna sh just say yo yo, enter. And here you can see that a message has been received. So don't expect this server to be very stable. Maybe you're talking and um, all of a sudden this, the, the server is going to crash. That's normal because it's very buggy. Um, so yeah, I hope you like it. It's just a little gimmick just to, you know, remember old times. So I hope you like it. I see, I see you in the next video, bitches. And have a nice day. I have a new, a great night, new year, uh, in the upcoming days. Great holidays, and I hope you had a great Merry Christmas. Bye.